So how's it going? I mean, it, obviously, yeah. uh, this is your first camp here. Right. Uh, you've been working, obviously, with everybody for a long time, but uh, what's it been like a week and a half in? It's been awesome. Um, you know, just getting to spend more time with the guys as fall camp does. Uh, we're in a hotel, so just getting to know the guys more has been awesome. Uh, and then just getting to put in work on the field has been awesome as well. Uh, getting to actually rep uh, the offense that I've been learning. Um, so it's, it's been good. When I've asked a couple people, including Coach Lester, about this room, right. and he talks about, you know, guys at Western that yeah. were just hungry. Guys right. like Sky Moore, guys like Dwayne Eskridge. Mm -hmm. And I keep hearing that you've been a real strong leader. And, and you know, one week into fall camp, that's impressive coming in from Northwestern. So right. what is that just a natural thing for you to lead? Uh, I feel like I'm a leader by example. Um, so when I get on the field, I try to try to give everything I have. You know, you take every day as it comes. Um, you're not promised anything. Uh, so that's the approach I take out the field of the day. And I hope to, to, uh, that guys can follow me. Um, and I think that's that's been uh, that's been happening. You know, setting the standard and guys follow along, and uh, we just come together as one. Be be uh, be playmakers on the field. Be the hardworking guys. You know, hardest workers on the field. So, so yeah. Let me ask you about uh, kind of the flip side. Uh, the guys you go up against, right. the cornerbacks. Obviously, Jamari's been here forever, uh, leader of that group. But a lot of young competition at that other spot. Sure. What have you seen from the opposite side? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dogs over there. You know, they've, they've all been working. Uh, great unit. Uh, they've been pushing me to be better, pushing all the guys in the receiver room to be better every day. Uh, you know, that defense as a whole has, has been been good, giving us good looks, uh, pushing us. Um, but DB unit has been doing good. They've been they've been competing. Uh, we've all been competing, uh, just trying to get better every day. What are your goals now that you've kind of gotten a taste of what this is going to be like right. in Iowa? Uh, just to be uh, be an explosive offense. You know, just uh, do whatever I can to to help the offense, uh, to help my teammates, uh, be there for my teammates, be the best guy I can be for them, uh, you know, and then let everything else fall, in, uh, fall into its place. Have you found any places around Iowa City yet that you really like good hangouts or places uh, to eat? Like Eats? Yeah. Uh, I really like East Ellis. I, think I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> you are going to say that. That's a hot spot yeah. on the team. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Stella's as well. They've got yeah. some, some good wings. Uh, I'm trying to find more spots, you know. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. Do you like the bread garden? Say that one more bread time. garden market. I don't think I've been there. Okay. Is, is that a spot? It's kind of a well-known place downtown. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. I need to find some spots. So whatever you got. They got really good bake. I don't know if you can eat bakery items right now. Oh no, man, their donuts and all that <laughs> yeah. stuff is great. Okay. So yeah. Um, so uh, I know one topic that got brought up with Coach earlier today was uh, Caden Weegan. Okay, he's a young yeah. guy that, I mean, I know you just got here, but he's a young guy, you know, a walk-on, comes in from a JUCO school, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it's taken him a while, but it sounds like he's really, I mean, he's fearless, obviously, yeah. with special teams specifically, but what, what's it like competing with him every day? Oh, he's just a great guy. He's a great competitor. Uh, speed, speed guy, fast, can roll, uh, but uh, more important than that, he's a great guy off off the field, you know, funny guy, uh, cool guy to, to hang out with. Uh, he's been one of the leaders too. Uh, when I came in the room, I saw guys look at him, you know, he's a he's a like, middle guy, soul guy. So uh, it's been, we've just been good. He's been pushing me, you know, pushing the guys. It's been great. Who have you bonded with the most since you've gotten here? Obviously, you're close uh, to Sully, but yeah. is there anybody else that? I'd say uh, everybody, really. We have this uh, the All American room. We sit down, eat dinner. I've been meeting uh, different guys every day, like on the team, trying to get to know everybody. Uh, everybody's cool, you know. Everybody's it's a great feel, uh, great locker room. It was one of the original reasons that I came here. It's just the, the family feel. Uh, everybody's just great, nice, great guys. As far as this day, were you kind of wanting this day to come? Like, obviously the off-season distractions, right? You, you have yeah, facing the suspension. Were you kind of wanting to get out there and face this? Or I don't know what your personality is like with handling adversity and mistakes. Yeah, no doubt. Um, definitely wanted to, you know what I mean, have this day and, um, you know, just get my product and everything like that. And move past it, you know what I mean, obviously, because this is going out to the world, so I was like, I don't know move past it and go in a new direction. So, you know what I mean, say my apology and everything like that, but that's, that's that. You know, What's this guy like playing with him? I mean, how's he? He's a year in now, right? <laughs> yes, what sir. does he bring to this room? What does he bring to this room? Uh, on and off the field. On and off the field. Off the field, yeah. That's my brother. Like, honestly, so real tight, you know what I mean, always hanging out and everything like that, but um, definitely bring something good to the receiver room, that's for sure. And Seth, how is this camp different than last year? I feel like a fish out of water a year ago and is finally something yeah, that's comfortable way for you? More, way more comfortability this year than last year, okay. of course. You know, because last year is brand new, everything was new, but now I really know what to expect and things like that, so it's really different. How much more friendly is this offense to wide receiver play, would you say? Uh, or yeah, is they, they showing love for sure. Okay. That's what we getting over. 
Yeah, they spread the ball around. That's what you said. There was a little chatter in the offseason. You guys are, you know, you're on social media. There's chatter. Well, you know, Coach Bud has never formally coached receivers, but he's a former quarterback, so he understands offensive and he understands route running, those concepts. Can you talk about what makes him unique? And obviously you both were coached by Coach Copeland last year. I'm not asking you to compare the guys, but what does Coach Bud bring? You know, um, I definitely like Coach Bud, you know I me mean, as a as a receiver coach and, you know, just as a person. And um I would definitely say personally he uh you know, just kind of coaching up like certain movements and things like that. Like obviously he knows what it looks like to for a good route, you know what I mean? So just personally for me, just wasting movements and things like that, just cleaning that up and just shaking me up as a receiver. So I like him. That's what he's doing. What would you say? Yeah, Seth? he likes to add detail to our routes and stuff, and detail our movements and things like that. So he's really getting his polish for the season. Coach Luster was talking a little bit about his involvement uh, at Western Michigan with receivers, but also here and you guys meeting together and whatnot. What's special about how he coaches that appeals to whiteouts? I mean, he shows aggression sometimes, you know, with uh, explosive plays and things like that and getting the ball to where it needs to be in the right time. So he, he really knows what he's doing, and I like his attitude towards practice and how we attack things and things like that. He really set the standard. Remember when I talked with Jacob Gillen, he committed, and I said, man, you know, Dwayne Eskridge, Jaden Reed, Sky Moore, you know, those guys all went through Western Michigan. They're all undersized. They're all second-round draft picks. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of – I mean, you guys are both still pretty young. Is that yeah. exciting to hear, just to know you got a guy who's got that type of a resume? Yeah, no yeah. doubt. Uh, it just puts you – Kind of in a place to know that you can do it. You know what I mean? Those guys just kind of leading and setting an example for those that, you know what I mean, kind of are outside. You know what I mean? So it's definitely encouraging. How's it? How, oh, go ahead, Seth. No, I'm just agreeing with him. Okay. What's the vlog been like? You still keeping hey, up with that? Hey, <laughs> you're just reminding me, right? Uh, I need something to vlog, but I couldn't. I'm why aren't you, why aren't you, right can now. you vlog I'm right now? I'm focused on this, that's All the right. truth. <laughs> I'm focused on this, that's, that's, that's really my answer, I'm focused on football. Right vlog, so. But vlog can come soon though. I mean, I can't give you a promised date or anything like that, but if we what got do you, something going, then I'll make it. <laughs> what do you want to do after football? Is this something with media? Do? No. No? Okay. No. What do you want to do after football? I want to be a therapist. Okay. Yeah, so I'm in psychology. Yeah, I want to be like, reasonably well. I'm, I haven't really decided, but like, like what age group and things like that, but uh, I definitely want to be a therapist or something. Okay. Yeah, help people out with the problems. You going to be a wrestling coach? <laughs> nah. I'm going to get into the uh, real estate business. You know what I'm okay. Yeah. You know where the money's at, right? <laughs> Have you beaten anybody on your team? Have you wrestled anybody? Like, do people, do people not know? Your teammates know you're a former wrestler, right? Yeah, I mean, a few of them know. So, they, you know, they, some people try that with me, not get up with them. But not Ben Keeter, right? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> I ain't messing with him, bro. Okay.